What is a crankshaft? A crankshaft refers to a rotating shaft that is used for converting the reciprocating motion of a piston into a rotational motion. These shafts are commonly used in internal combustion engines to perform such operations. Crankshafts consist of a series of cranks along with the crank pins to which the connecting rods are attached. The crankshaft includes at least one shaft, which rotates inside the engine block. It rotates with the help of the main bearing. The crank pins are rotated between the connecting rods with the help of the rod bearings. Construction of crankshaft Crankshafts are built using metals like cast iron. The metal is taken in molten form and is then poured into a mold during the casting process, whereas modern crankshafts are made from the forged steel that is mostly used in some performance engines. The process of making a crankshaft includes heating a block of steel until it gets red hot. Once it gets hot, its shape is formed using extreme pressure. The heat treatment is either alloyed steel or nitride steel materials, which are used. The crankshafts are also surface hardened. Function of crankshaft 1. There are endless functions which gives the motors a smoother drive with the multiple cylinders. 2. Converting the linear motion of the piston into a rotational motion is also one of its functions. 3. The power is produced through the combustion of the fuel-air mixture. 4. The shaft of the crankshaft is bored with some holes, which feed the motor with the required quantity of oil. This oil is mainly used to smooth the movements. 5. Crankshafts also function as load bearings as the load gets distributed during this process. 6. One of the loads is severe bending and torsional stress, wherein the pistons are connected to the crankshaft through the connecting rod. 7. It must be noted that the rotary movement of the crankshaft accelerates and decelerates constantly where further loads of torsional vibration are added. The crankshaft is mounted inside the engine block with the following other parts, which are as follows. 1. Pistons. 2. Connecting rods. 3. Flywheel. 4. Crankshaft. The secondary function of a crankshaft is to transmit the power of other systems of the engine. 1. Valve timing. 2. Oil pump. 3. Cooling, water, pump. FOP compressor of air. 5. An alternator. Fitting the crankshaft. The crankshaft is set into the engine block through the main journal. The connecting rods are fixed to the journals of the crankshaft. Whereas on the opposite side of the conrod journals, the crankshaft has the counterweight which is used to compensate the outer moments to minimize the internal moments and thus reduce the vibration amplitudes and the bearing stresses. One end of the crankshaft is connected to the flywheel and the other end to the valve timing gearing. The number of main journals and conrod journals depends upon the number of cylinders and the types of the engine like V-type, straight etc. Both the main journal and the conrod journal have lubricated crankshaft orifices or oil bores through which the oil flows whenever the engine runs. The exact place to fit a crankshaft is on the main journals, between the crankshaft and the engine block. Their main role is to reduce the impact of friction through a layer of anti-friction material that comes into direct contact with the block mount of the engine. Working principles of crankshafts 1. Considering the multi-cylinder engine, these are more complex engines as the crankshaft is used, whereas in small engines, the simple design is quite sufficient. A crank pin to which the big end is attached completes the moment within the two motions. This is an additional bearing surface that has an offset axis from that of the crank. The flywheel or crankshaft pulley is mounted on the crank in order to store the energy that is generated, which can be used for further work. A flywheel is also found to reduce the pulsation characteristic of a four-stroke engine. 2. 
the crankshaft is mounted inside the main bearing in order to ensure smooth and vibration-free running of the engine. The quantity of bearings in the engine depends upon various factors like the design of the engine, the number of cylinders, the design of crankshaft, etc. But as there are always at least two bearings, one is placed at the drive end and the other one at the non-drive end. If everything goes fine, there is a rare need to replace the engine bearing. 3. The counterweight is used to reduce the bending load on the crankshaft, which also helps the engine not shake whenever the mechanism of the crank is rotating. The crankshaft balancing mostly depends on the counterweights. The engine crank web is the portion of crank between the crank pin or the adjacent crank pins and the shaft, which is also known as a crank arm. Types of crankshafts Two types of crankshafts are produced, which are commonly known as cast and forged. The counterweights can also be forged directly into the crankshaft or bolted on with the threaded bolts. All the pistons of the internal combustion engine transmit their load to the crankshaft. The crankshaft has to undergo high torsional forces, bending forces, pressures, and vibrations. Let's study more about the types of crankshafts. 1. Cast crankshaft. These are the types of crankshafts that are commonly found for a long time and are mostly found in diesel and gasoline engines. The name clearly suggests that these are made from malleable iron through a casting process. These are quite economical to work with, therefore they are commonly selected by the manufacturers. A flat plane crank is the one wherein the journals are kept 180 degrees apart from the all-in line for engines. Whereas when it comes to a cross-plane crank, they need a mold of multiple parts because the journals and counterweights are not that symmetrical. The cast cranks are hardened through the flame in order to improve the wear resistance in particular areas. 2. Forged crankshaft. These are comparatively more robust crankshafts, which are more commonly found, especially in higher stress engines, which come standard with some 16V engines. Creating a forged crank is totally different. There are different sets of dies that are machined together to approximate the shape of the crank. These dies are set in a very large hydraulic press, which has a clamping force of many tons. A hot bar of very high-grade steel alloy is placed at the bottom die, and then the dies are closed. Once the dies are closed, the metal gets squeezed very tightly, after which the material is compacted and aligned for a better casting process. These types of cranks are also hardened like cast cracks, but using induction hardening. Three. Billet crankshaft. Billet crankshafts are one of the best types of cranks that an engine can have, and they are normally used to manufacture this kind of crank. This usually contains materials like nickel, chromium, aluminum, and molybdenum, amongst other elements. These cranks are most common due to the lowest crankshaft machining time. Also, these require minimal balancing due to the uniform makeup of the material. Best crankshaft material. A crankshaft is most commonly formed from materials like carbon steel, nickel chrome, or other alloy steel. The alloy elements in the carbon steel are manganese, chromium, molybdenum, silicon, cobalt, and vanadium. Sometimes aluminum and titanium are also used. It is a belief that if you select the above mentioned material for a crankshaft, you will hardly require a crankshaft repair or crankshaft replacement. Crankshaft components and design. The essential components of a crankshaft include 1. Main journals. The main journals are responsible for carrying the main bearing and also declaring the axis of rotation of the shaft. 2. Crank pins. Crank pins are the ones that allow the connecting rod to be attached to them. 3. Crank webs. Crank webs connect the crank pins to the main journals. 4. Counterweights. Counterweights offer balancing, which is mounted at the webs. The design of a crankshaft is based on its ability to fire and the number of cylinders in the engine. It is also determined by the design of the engine, the number of crankshaft bearings, and its stroke size. 
Crankshaft lubrication. Lubrication plays a very vital role in the efficiency of an engine and also enhances its working mechanism, which involves the rubbing of two metal parts. The main aim is to avoid unnecessary wear on the crankshaft, main journals, and rod journals, which both ride on a film of oil. This film of oil is responsible for sitting on the surface of bearings. The oil is supplied to the main bearing via the oil galleries of the engine block, which lead to each crankshaft saddle and match the hole in the bearing shell, which collects the oil for the journal. How does a crankshaft work? The working of the crankshaft is easy, it is not at all complex. There is a respectable distance between the center point of the main journal and the crankshaft pin. This distance is referred to as the crank radius or crank throw. Its measurement tells us the range of the piston that it travels as the crankshaft rotates. The top to bottom distance covered is known as the stroke and the piston stroke is twice the crank radius. The rear end of the crankshaft extends outside the crankcase, which is supported by the flange of the flywheels. This flange is a precision machine part that is bolted to the flywheel. The crankshaft is usually bolted to the ring gear, specifically in an automatic drive. General crankshaft faults. Very rarely are issues found on a crankshaft. This is only the case when the engine experiences any of the following extreme conditions. The components of engines are quite reliable and sturdy, but some common faults mentioned below can cause failure. 1. Worn journals. Worn journals are caused by insufficient oil pressure. The crankshaft journals come into direct contact with the bearing surfaces, which gradually increases the clearance and decreases the oil pressure. Worn journals can cause very serious problems for the engine if not taken care of. It can also lead to destroying the bearing and causing huge damage to the engine. 2. Fatigue. Fatigue refers to the constant forces on the crankshaft that lead to the fractures. This problem usually occurs on the fillets where the journals and the web are joined together. The cracks that develop can be inspected on the crankshaft with the use of a magna flux. The majority of steel crankshaft failure occurs due to fatigue failure that can originate at a change in cross section. 3. Failure due to vibration. Whenever the engine is running with heavy vibration during torsional vibration, it can lead to a crack in the crankpin and journal. 4. In an adequate amount of lubrication. If the lubrication of the bearing in the crankshaft is not adequate, it can lead to complete wiping out of the bearing and failure of the crankshaft. 5. Overpressurized cylinder. It is possible that there is a hydraulic lock inside the liner caused by extreme pressure at the crankshaft or that it is even bent. Reasons for crankshaft misalignment 1. Damage or wipe out of the main bearing. 2. Loose engine foundation bolt leading to vibration. 3. Deformation of ship's hull. 4. Crack in the bearing saddle. 5. Loose main bearing bolt, leading to damage to the main bearing. 6. The high bending moment is applied to the crankshaft due to the excessive force from the assembly of the piston. 7. Grounding of the ship. 8. Crankcase explosion or fire. 9. A defective or worn-out stern tube or intermediate shaft bearings. 10. Loose or broken chokes in the foundation. 11. Bearing pockets cracked. Bed plate deformed, transverse girder damaged. 12. Tie bolts that slack or broken. 13. Weakening of structure due to corrosion. Don't forget to hit the like button to show your support and stay updated with engaging content that's sure to inspire, entertain, and keep you coming back for more. Thanks for watching and being a part of our journey.